All right, everybody, we are talking 2018 Super Tuscan. Now, I know that um, I've had a lot of people come in here and say, oh my God, I love Super Tuscans. Well, here's the thing. There's no litigation on what a Super Tuscan is. Traditionally, Super Tuscans were used as Chianti's that were made outside of Chianti. Now, today that is manipulated and stretched a little bit to red blends that we want to charge more for in the industry. We take it back to our roots. This Super Tuscan is our take on a Californian Chianti. All the grape comes from California. We're using a Sangiovese clone. We're using a Merlot and we're using a Cabernet. Uh, Sangiovese comes out of Susan Valley, Cab out of Alexander Valley, and the Merlot out of Paso. So it's a 25 Merlot, 25 Cab, 50% Sangiovese. I posted a video on the Sangiovese. Take a look at that. It's the same varietal that we're using for this here. This is going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder because of the 25% Merlot, 25% cab that we put in there. It's going to start off with a lot of those cherry cranberry notes that the Sangiovese has, but it's going to have more spice, a little bit more green notes. It's going to finish a little bit denser because of that cab as well. Uh, you will get some plum, some prune to it as well. So let me jump into it and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing bad. Unbelievable fruit notes on the nose. You get hit right away with that fresh fruit and then it does get a little bit denser on your palate. And when I say dense, I mean it coats it really, really well. You're getting that malolactic fermentation from the Cabernet. That's coating your palate with some vanilla notes to it as well. A little bit of spice. You can definitely tell, and I'm tasting them in succession from the Sangiovese to the Super Tuscan, uh, just because that's how I would want to taste them because you're going from lighter to denser and how you should taste them. Um, but this does have some more backbone than that Sangiovese. Great, they're very comparable with, with initial flavor. The Super Tuscan gets a little bit more depth um, in the finish. So. I talk about the Sangiovese pairing it with cheese charcuterie, uh, specifically the goat cheese with the cranberry, um, those cranberry log goat cheeses. I'm, I'm definitely underselling them, but they're fantastic. The Super Tuscan, you can definitely put with more protein. Um, prosciutto, salami, lamb, steak. It's got enough body to it. You wanna talk a, a fresh uh, tomato sauce with, with even a potential bolognese and pasta. The Super Tuscan would be a fantastic one. This is my favorite pizza wine, especially grilled pizza. If you've never made grilled pizza, I'll do a video on it this summer. They're awesome. The char marks will go great with this, but it's also great for that, that fresh, you get the fresh fruit and you get the fresh tomato sauce. It complements itself really, really well. Again, this is 50% Sangiovese, 25% Cabernet, 25% Merlot. Awesome, awesome wine. We've been making this now since we opened up in 2006. Same blend, it's just tried and true for us. This is, this is an awesome, awesome varietal. If you want to try one of Boston Winery's wines, our Super Tuscan, our Boston blend, our Petite Syrah, that's where I would start. Cheers, enjoy.